Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to talk about a gun that honestly I didn't really use last wipe or the wipe before but this wipe I thought I want to give it a go and that is the VPO 209 which takes 366 but what's so good about this is most ammos in this caliber aren't very good but once you can get your hand on 366 AP which is extremely cheap you will really see it start to shine. Now it really struggles, I will say this, it really, really struggles against class 5 and 6. But there's not a lot of players using that right now. There's going to be more and more that's going to start to use it. So keep that in mind. It can deal with class 5 and 6, but nowhere near as good as when it can deal with class 4 and below. You actually have the potential to one-tap someone in class 4, which is absolutely insane. This bullet does over 90 damage per shot and has enough penetration, like I said, to one tap a class 4 player, but not consistently. Now the gun that I like to use this ammo in is the VPO 209. You can also use this in uh, the VPO bolt action sniper rifle. It is also extremely good in that. If you want to level your snipers for the quest, or you've got quests where you have to use bolt action rifles, that gun is very good because it is extremely powerful ammo. And like I said, it's very cheap. And you can just buy the, the, uh, the bolt action for like 20k or something like that. Whack a sight on it. Put this ammo in and you're good to go you don't really have to customize the sniper or anything it's got good ergonomics base you know the base gun because it's quite a light gun it's very fast to aim in and you can ads for a long time but that's not really what i'm talking about this video it's mainly just the ammo and the vpo 209 that combination is absolutely insane so i'm going to show you a build i've got now this is an expensive build i think it's one of the best builds you can get there's a couple things you can change about it but I'll go out and I'll show you the build that I've been using in the VPO 209. Now I've got both the VPO 209 build on the screen and this is the ammo that I was talking about, the 366 AP. And I'll show you right now actually quickly before I show you the builds, how much this is going for on the flea and how much from a trader. So if I show you, it's 519 from a trader. It's very easy to get this unlocked. And even if it's not from a trader, you're looking at about 700, but it's actually gone up in the past two days, I'm not gonna lie. This was around 600. Sometimes you can even pick it up for about 550. But it's obviously the price is going up. People are realizing the strength of it. But it's very easy to get hold of it from a trader. And even if it isn't from a trader, this ammo is well worth the price. You're looking at about the same price as PS, which I've talked about in a previous video for 762 by 54. This ammo is powerful. It can one tap class four. It is well worth it. But just keep in mind, you will struggle against class five and six. But, like I said, there's not many people like that right now. But either way, let's look at the bill. Current bill we're looking at. Now this is, like I said, pretty much as good as it can get. I could change a couple of things. I could put an RK2 on there or an RK1 for vertical recoil. There's not many muzzles for this gun. The suppressor is actually the best possible muzzle. Which is good in a way, because you're always going to be suppressed. But other than that, as you can see, it has a lot of recoil. But that's just this gun in general. The ammo is powerful. It needs recoil. If you're going to spray, just be careful, just make sure you pull down a hell of a lot to be able to control your spray, or your tap fire spray, whatever you want to call it. But this build here does cost quite a bit, this is about 140k if I'm not mistaken, but you can go a hell of a lot cheaper, and because it is a tap fire gun, obviously recoil isn't the worst thing, obviously lower recoil is better still regardless, but if you're going to tap fire, you could definitely have high recoil and still do damage with this gun. I've picked this gun up plenty of times, early wipe just from scavs, and it's still extremely good. It's just like a 762 Vepa, but it's just in 366 with more recoil. I absolutely love this gun. I feel like it's really, really fun to use. I highly suggest getting your hands on one. Try out some different modifications and you know different builds. But if you can get your hands on one as low as recoil as possible, there's no reason not to. Like I said, it does cost a bit and a lot of these you know, prices are from max level traders. The only trader I don't have max level at the moment is Ragman, but I don't get attachments from him anyway. So this is all max level traders basically from this build and it's about 140K with the current price that I bought the gun at as well. I bought it at 100% condition from Skier. You might be able to pick up the gun cheaper if you buy it from a player, but you have got more, you know, worries of jamming the gun during a fight. But definitely try this gun out. If you guys want to know more builds for the gun, I can definitely come up with some builds and I can uh, pin in the comment section down below. But other than that, I'm going to show you some clips of the gun and show you just how powerful it can be.
I just want to put this quick clip at the end of the video just to say all of the visuals that you see like how dark or how light it is is exactly how I see it on my monitor I figured that would be the best way to record it I haven't done game capture on OBS I've done something called monitor capture where it will literally record everything my monitor shows so it may look dark, but at the same time, it's exactly how I see it. I've changed some of my monitor settings, so I've done it so dark areas are slightly brighter through the NVIDIA control panel. Um, if you guys don't know how to do that, literally, if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you can literally right-click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and you can change a few settings there. So I've done it that way rather than through PostFX. So everything you guys see on screen is exactly how I see it. If you want me to brighten it, of course I can. But I, for now, I figured it would be the best way. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As to whether or not you think I should brighten darker areas up, you know, manually through editing, or whether I should keep it exactly how I see it, so you guys can kind of experience it as if you was in my shoes. But that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely try out the VPO 209 with Boosty's 366 AP. It is an absolute monster. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.